hello students in this video we are going to study about the construction of railway lines using track laying machine so we will see the introduction the railway construction is also called as the track laying and ballasting it is the process of laying the railway sleepers and tracks on the track bed the railway construction process mainly includes transportation and laying of railway sleepers and rails the last transportation and the laying railway track construction the preparatory work before the railway construction unlike any other type of the road building such as highway guard rail construction before starting the railway construction the materials such as steel rails rail fasteners and the ballast need to be prepared in advance the surveying work before the railway construction should also be completed before the construction after the simple cleaning of the road bed the next steps of the railway construction can be started then the laying of ballast in the bottom layer for the first ballast laying of the railway track construction only the bottom layer should be laid mainly the ballast belt laid in the area below the two rails the remaining ballast are transported by the trains after the railway line is laid third railway sleeper transport and laying due to the current railway track construction mostly using the concrete sleepers the weight is relatively heavy the railway track constructions machine lifts the concrete sleeper from the rear container and transfer it to the front cantilever which falls into the position and adjusts after each railway sleeper is laid the machine moves forward at a section distance so the cycle is completed the railroad fasteners such as iron plates track bolts rail clips etc will be pre reinforced on the rail sleeper at this time and it will be reinforced again after the rail is placed track laying track laying will still use the railway track construction machine the machine lifts the steel rail section up and move it to the iron plate which is above the railway sleeper after adjusting the position the railway track machine puts down the rail and continues to lay the next section of the rail at this time there will be workers operating the equipment to fasten the rail fasteners so that the rail is getting fixed ballast laying ballasting work includes transporting uploading tamping ballast trimming and other operations all these processes can be completed by using ballast laying machine with comprehensive working performance other railway construction work after the track is laid and ballasting is done the rail sections need to be fixed to form a stable line fish plate and fish poles are usually used to connect the rail sections of ordinary railways for a high speed railway line thermite welding method is used finally the large road maintenance machine will carry out the mechanical work and carry out the final arrangement and inspection of the track now the major constituents of the railway track procurement and placement of the stone ballast provision of the sub ballast that forms the part of substructure transporting handling and placement of the concrete sleepers transporting handling laying and fastening of the rails lifting leveling lining and tamping of track inserting additional ballast in the track lifting leveling lining and tamping of track further addition of ballast to make the correct ballast profile welding of rails into long and continuous welded rail followed by distressing of rails further addition of ballast to make the correct correct ballast profile welding of rails into long continuous welded rails followed by distressing of the rails final round of tamping now the mechanized track construction various methods are adopted around the world such as volume or the magnitude of the work availability of the skill manpower desired quality standards and available track laying equipment 
On the Indian Railway, most of the track construction work has been carried out using simple road-based equipment. Only after the track is manually laid, on track tamping machines are deployed for giving the final rounds of tamping. In this method, in spite of the deployment of the tamping machine, there is considerable degree of compromise on the quality of the track produced. Now the track laying by using simple track machine. First round of tamping is given after spreading ballast, placing sleepers and laying rails. The deficiency of the ballast is then made up and second round of tamping is carried out. Additional ballast is inserted to make up the shortage due to lifting and tamping. Once the sleepers are well consolidated, welding of the rails onto the long rail lengths can be done using the mobile push butt welding plants or the thermit welding. This is followed by de-stressing of the rails. At this stage, a third round of the tamping can be given. Now the track laying by using continuous action track laying machine. This is a modern high capacity track laying machine which has an important feature of that it can place the sleepers automatically at a specified spacing. It carries the rails and can unload them on the trackless area ahead of the machine. During travel from work work site to another the equipment is conveniently placed on the standard railway flatbed vehicles. The main component is the laying machine. That's why it is a continuous action track laying machine. During the working, the front of the laying machine runs on the crawler track and the rear end is supported on the transport wagon. Now the track laying by using new track construction machine that is NTC machine. The NTC machine offers continuous action assembly line kind of track laying with accuracy and high speed. In each shift, the output of the new track laying machine can be as high as 1.5 kilometers. In normal condition, the track laying can be done for maximum 200 meters to 300 meters. This is the NTC machine. Besides accelerating the speed of the construction, the machine helps in careful handling as well as the placement of rails and sleepers achieving high initial quality in laying of tracks. Within the track, the entire supply of the new sleepers and the rails is being laid by mechanized operation. So, to allow the error-free mechanized track laying, a cord is fixed at 2.5 meter from central axis. Where, the, where it is able to lay 10 concrete sleepers per minute with precise sleeper spacing and squareness. This is the most efficient and effective means to lay the new track. So this is how the sleepers are placed. Advantage of NTC over other machines. The handling of rails and sleepers are fully mechanized from loading, transportation and linking at site. Compared to the manual or semi-mechanized methods, this method will avoid initial stresses induced in the rail. Since the rail panels of 260 meter are supplied, the manufacturer plant itself under control conditions with two flash butt welds for each panel are handled thoroughly with hydraulically operated systems. Only eight welds are required per single track per kilometer in this method which increases the track safety to greater extent. With this method of laying tracks, physical damage to sleepers are reduced to great extent. Also, safety at work site has been increased as well. Since the laying of the track will be done automatically by the machine, the disturbance will be minimal. Also, this will eliminate the manual errors and rework. Need for laying the track. For the good functioning of railway track, of course it depends upon the individual components such as the rails and sleepers. Defective parts must be replaced in good time in order to avoid high subsequent costs. And in the past, these material intensive and arduous tasks were carried out by manual labor but today are performed using powerful track laying machines. So this was all about the 
construction of uh, railway track using track machines. Thank you.